After my first feature film, which was an extraordinary experience called The Dub, of which I worked every day, seven days a week for over eight months, you know, pre-principal, you know, post, and then distribution made it, make it a year. But I should have gone to film school. I, should, I realized then that I was wanting to be, I was ready to be a filmmaker. I met Michael Starr at USC School of Cinematic Arts when he was in the master's program. And um, he had at one time, you know, or I don't know, not, can't recall if I offered up or if he did, you know, like, hey, if ever I do something, would you consider, you know, being a part of my production? I said, absolutely. Well, I got the phone call one day. Don't need to read it, uh, happy to be in it. Like, just tell me what, what we're doing. I told you I'd do it and I'm gonna do it. But once I arrived in Missouri, I was in Star's world, you know, and the, the hardest working individual on the set, no question, hands down, was everybody that contributed on this film. Everybody, there wasn't anyone that wasn't like, you know, tying something up or undoing something or, you know, uh, pulling something together or, you know, uh, making sure that meals were there. My leading lady, Kim was then serving up a buffet every night, making sure that everybody ate. And I, yet I just jumped in at it, having had the same experience. Probably the pleasure I have as an actor, always have, is that I feel like I am a part of, up to sometimes it's 30 different departments to make some one scene happen, right? And you just want to sell this and sell that and make sure that the clothes you're wearing are that you, 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 you be sure to make a point of showing everything that you got on so the costume wardrobe feels honored, the props and dancing in front and through the frame of your director of photography. That was always a pleasure but I in terms of as the director was this Hitchcock? Was this every shot locked away deep in his head and that, you know, but, and he could accept our input and contribution, but his great gift and talent as a, as a director, and cer but certainly as a writer and recognizing, you know, um, a great topic, a very current topic, was as a, um, not just facilitator, uh, you know, of pulling, you know, various talents together, but delegating talent. Consider the situation of the director, right? This is his baby, this is his feature, and you know, this is it. And it's not just something birthed overnight. These things generally takes years to put them together. But he was very accepting of uh, all of our various uh, contributions. We need to continue to bring this subject, talk about it, and, and bring it out, and have it something that we'll, we can all accept that it's not just in the past, it's now. And it's gonna continue into the future unless we can begin to recognize this culture that we keep suppressed and fix it. And I think it's the discussion that follows, it's the movement that follows so that we can benefit one another. You know, because it, it is there, it's every day that I witness this, you know, terrible uh, reality of what's going on in not just my country, but in my hometown.